Well, a bill restructuring Iowa's nine area education agencies headed now to Governor Kim Reynolds' desk. That's right. The state Senate today agreeing with changes made recently by the House, passing that measure 30 to 18. The bill encompasses school supplemental aid increases, raises the starting teacher and paraeducator pay in the state, along with changes to the state's AEAs. Now, the final increase to school funding is set at 2.5%, which is what the governor called for near the beginning of the legislative session. Local school districts will now have control of the dollars that go to those AEAs for special education services. There will be no changes in 2024-25. It is a positive response to the concerns expressed by constituents from across the state. Uh, it's good because it does the following things. It slows the process down. Uh, this bill is going to take three years to implement. My view of this is that it's an unnecessary bill and, an un and crappy, and it's an unnecessary process and crappy and rushed. And just, it, it goes against the will of the people. And that's the most frustrating thing out of all this. Starting in 2025-26, school districts will receive all of those funds uh, but are required to use 90% of their funding for dollars with AEAs. 10% can, can be used to uh, contract a private entity for other services. Those teacher raises, by the way, will be phased in over two years.